This is going to be a short video series for modifying the Tough Torque K46 transaxle from my John Deere D130 riding mower to allow for oil changes without having to remove the trans from the mower. The K46 that I'll be working on is a sub-variant called the T40J. If you want to jump straight to the mod, I'll put a link to that video in the description below and I'll try and link it at the top of this video as well. In the rest of this video, I'm going to disassemble the transaxle while giving some background on it. This is not intended to be a how-to on disassembly. Videos for this already exist. I'll link a good one in the description below for anyone looking for a more detailed teardown. Note that pretty much everything that will be covered in this series would likely void your mower or transaxle warranty. The procedures and modifications shown could also be dangerous. I'm not an expert. This information is being provided as entertainment only. I have a John Deere D130 that comes with a variant of the K46 called the T40J. John Deere considers this transaxle to be a sealed, non-serviceable unit, despite the fact that it is serviceable if you're willing to take it off the machine and open the case. My D130 mower started losing power uphill after the transaxle heats up. This is apparently a common issue that happens when the hydrostatic pump in the trans has worn over time. If you find yourself in this situation, you basically have three options not including labor. 1. Replace the transaxle for about $700 to $800. 2. Replace the hydro pump parts for about $450 to $500. Or 3. Rebuild the hydro pump parts for about $170. I'm going to send out my hydro pump internals to be rebuilt by a guy in Canada who sells his rebuild services on eBay under the name TTHG Services. I'll put a link to the eBay page in the description below. The cost to have the parts rebuilt is about $115, but with tax and shipping to Canada, my total cost was about $170. The round trip time to send out my parts and get them back was about 20 days. Most of this was USPS being slow. Jim from TTHG Services was super responsive and had the rebuilt parts back in the mail to me in just one day after receiving them. In my next video that's linked in the description below, I'm going to mod my transaxle to have drain plugs and an external expansion tank. This will allow me to change the oil without having to take the trans off my mower. My plan is to change the oil annually and every few years take the trans off the machine so I can open it up and replace the filter and magnets. While I finish the disassembly, I'll share some useful background on the K46. According to the Tough Torque website, the K46 transaxle is the most popular integrated hydrostatic transaxle in the world. Many of the major mower manufacturers use this transaxle in part of their product line. These mower manufacturers contract with Tough Torque to build variants of the K46 based on the specs that they choose. Some K46 variants are slightly more serviceable than others, including features like drain plugs and external expansion tanks. As far as I know, all K46 transaxles contain a filter that can only be changed by opening up the transmission case. There are also magnets inside the case that cannot be cleaned or replaced without opening it up. So while some K46 variants are more serviceable than others in the sense that you could drain the oil or top off the oil while the transaxle is on your mower, you can't fully service the trans without taking it off the machine and opening the case. This transaxle ships from the factory with a 10W30 base oil that is conventional, not synthetic. Over the years, Tough Torque has changed the replacement oil recommendations as they've iterated on their own custom oil formulation that they now refer to as Tough Tech. Originally, their replacement oil for the K46 was a 5W50 synthetic base. Their latest formulation is now a 10W30 synthetic base. For all these oils, when I say base, I'm referring to the fact that Tough Torque has formulated their own brand of oil with additives that they've determined to work best in these transaxles. Their recommendation is to use their brand of oil and have historically communicated that it was based on either 5W50 or 10W30. There are many posts online about people using different brands of off-the-shelf oil with good results. This may be fine, but just know that this isn't Tough Torque's recommendation. At the end of the day, do what you feel is best regarding the type of oil that you use. I think it's a bit odd that the mower manufacturers treat these as sealed units and they ship them containing conventional oil. If you have any thoughts on the oil situation, please let me know in the comments. Okay, that's it for this one. The other videos in this series will be linked in the description below. Hope to see you in part 2 where we mod the transmission. If you found this useful, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.